up beautiful people welcome back to ivy and skin i like to greet you all according to your time zone and thank you guys you guys are welcome you guys are awesome all my lovely subscribers but all in you every one of you i greet you whole wholeheartedly so guys today we're going to make a highly concentrated peeling body lotion da yes if you're familiar with the yellow peeling oil that's a very intensive aggressive peeling body oil as you can see from the picture it's really aggressive peeling so this lotion is something similar but it's 50% it's not a hundred percent peeling so you're not gonna notice like visible uh, peeling like the ones in these pictures no but if your skin is not as stubborn as mine, you've probably been noticing your peeling. But if you don't notice it, it's still fine. You're going to see your results. You're going to get your result. Now, the thing about this peeling lotion is that it's a highly concentrated AHA body lotion, like alpha hydroxic acid and beta hydroxic acid. Okay, so it's going to not just peel your skin, but if you know what peeling of skin is, it's for the treatment of discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and uh, if creams don't work for you, like your skin is crocodile skin like mine, yeah, no matter what you do, no matter what cream is being prescribed for you, you buy, it's expensive, you scrub, you rub, everything, you just, you just cannot get a uniform skin, like, no, you just can't, you can't. This cream is for you. This lotion is for you. You struggle with dark knuckles, elbows, and your tie, inner tie is darker, your bum is dark. Oh my dear, this lotion is for you. It's going to even out your skin like it's going to be like milk. Now, that is not bleaching. This is not lightening. No, it's peeling exfoliation, deep exfoliation of the outer layer of your skin. Therefore, preparing your skin for any lightening journey you are about to start. If you've been lightening already, creams don't work for you. This uh, peeling lotion is going to make you have an even skin to make any subsequent lightening, whitening you want to do work perfectly and very even. Okay, and if you just want to do it just to get uh, your skin to be uh, perfectly uniform it's for you you can do this peeling and after that you just get a moisturizer and start using moisturizer you don't have to it doesn't have to be like no it's for lightening if it's not lightening then don't use it no that's just what i'm trying to uh explain and at the same time as you can see it, it the peeling is not just for uh, people of color like who oh, they want to lighten their skin so that's why they're doing peeling no even people with lighter skin like caucasian white people peel their skin because it helps diminishes the appearance of aging wrinkles even stretch marks too yes and it helps with a new cell uh, skin turnover so you use this lotion for three weeks you can use it for three weeks okay or or scratch that don't use it for three weeks use it for just 10 14 days which is two weeks and after that if you're peeling you're noticing your peeling most times i would say use a hydrocortisone lotion that will help you shed off the remaining of the peeling uh, dead skin but if you're fine with the way your result turn out you can just go to using um, your normal lightning start your lightning journey but then after you just finish peeling i would suggest that you take it easy with the lightening or whitening. Don't just go immediately and shock your skin like that, please. Then again, how you use this lotion is you use it in the night, please. You know, with the yellow peeling oil, you use it in the night and you don't bathe for three days. No, this lotion is not for that. That's why I made it a 50% peeling. 50% uh, concentration not like a hundred percent of the yellow oil so you can still go about your daily um, use your moisturizing lotion during the daytime with your sunscreen please let me scream sunscreen sunscreen <laughs> please don't stay. look your skin will not forgive you use sunscreen you're peeling for heaven's sake you're peeling your skin wear 
covered clothes cover your body cover your body and use an umbrella even at that still apply sunscreen on your hands and your feet look ah, how do I make this oh please just please use sunscreen like if you were using one spoon of sunscreen before use 10 spoon because you're peeling if not your skin will damage it will damage your skin your skin is very vulnerable at this stage of peeling please 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 I beg you I'm on my knees begging you okay guys so now all I want to say is um, when you're using this uh, peeling lotion please do not use any lightening soap yes don't use any lightening soap get a very just simple my soap like dove um, uh, Delta soap or I don't know just any light simple soap toilet soap do not use anything lightening at all this lotion is moisturizing on its own because peeling can dry out your skin so but this lotion contains moisturizer and humectant so it's going to keep your skin lubricated retain water moisture as well as moisturize it and hydrate it okay so you use it only at night do not use sponge when you're showering do not use sponge do not scrub your skin nothing intense on your skin because the lotion is already doing the job for you so you use it only at night do not use it on your face please do not use it on your face but I say both because most people have very stubborn face okay if you have scars on your face do not use it if you have discoloration and you think your face can withstand the intensity of the AHA by all means you can just do a skin patch on one side of your skin or your face try it leave it on for an hour if you don't feel any irritation then you can apply on your face secondly if you want to use this cream on your body I suggest that when you make it you try it in in the inside of your elbows okay you test it in the inside of your elbows and leave it like that for about an hour and if you don't feel any pinching or irritation or burning sensation then you're free to use the lotion by the way I must warn you for the first time you might feel some little pinch thereabouts on your body just see how your body tolerates this if your body tolerates it very well because after a few minutes the pinching will stop yes it will stop and you're fine but if it doesn't and it gets worse and it starts burning you go rinse your whole body then this lotion it's not for you if anything else I remember I'll tell you guys as we go along. Thank you. Okay, as a disclaimer, let me just leave this out here. If you're pregnant, please stay away from this lotion. There is no way around it. I won't say, oh, try it or don't. No. Do not just stay away from this lotion if you're a pregnant woman and a nursing mother. Okay, your breastfeeding mother. And this lotion is not for kids okay not for kids not for teenager i will say maybe from 17 16 uh, sorry 17 18 and above it's for stubborn strong mature skin okay so basically let's leave the teenagers alone their skin is still uh, developing and you okay this is for old people like you and me okay then again um if you have an open wound say like an open scar like a wound a flesh open flesh wound do not apply this lotion on that part totally avoid it avoid it like a hundred percent avoid that part okay then um, I, yeah, I did say use this lotion for 10 to 14 days and after that if you have really really stubborn skin you can extend it to three weeks and uh, do not use sponge do not scrub anything intense or aggressive on your skin at all get a good baby lotion moisturizer like Gigans, Nivea, Dove, uh, Dr. Teal use those during the daytime with sunscreen and wear covering clothes to cover every part of your body your hands which of course that's inevitable you can't wear gloves we don't wear gloves in nigeria <laughs> you put your sunscreen okay 
put your sunscreen on your face and please carry an umbrella when you go about your daily umbrellas are not meant for just rain uh, yeah when I carry umbrella during the day people ask me you want to call rain and I said umbrella is for sun too okay by the end of the day if my skin is damaged this is the first people that are going to say Ooh, what happened to our skin so you know just don't care what people say do what's best for you protect your skin huh and by the way like i stated um my salicylic acid i dissolved it with uh, 10 ml of propylene glycol you can use only propylene glycol but then you have to use a double boiler with the to, to dissolve it but I use propylene glycol as well as isopropylene uh, is like a raw alcohol if you know and uh, that you just put a bit by bit and see how fast it dissolves and uh, you put bit by bit as you go there's no exact measurement to this then again uh, my um, lactic acid is 88% strength strong so this is a very strong exfoliant like peeling lotion yes it is but gosh please just hold me accountable hold me to my word this lotion after you're done with it your skin eh? mm, milk yeah and this is my trusted um base cream that i made and uh, it's actually a good milk base uh, cream and um, it was filled up as you can see it's almost empty in fact it's empty yes so basically that's just it and uh, it helps diminishes the appearance of stretch marks it helps with discoloration your skin will be uniform like I said you don't have to do this because you want to lighten your skin you can do this just to make your skin look healthy, healthy and uniform. After you finish peeling, you can just start using only moisturizer. Anything you use at that stage will just penetrate into your skin without any barrier, without any hindrances. And your skin will be glowing. Even if you're just rubbing shea butter alone as your body cream, your skin will be popping and glowing and will be uniform. Because let me just say this. Whether you're using lighting lotion or not, when you're getting older, you get melasma, you get liver spot. Our skin produces uh, excessive melanin on certain parts of our body, like our knees, our elbows, our knuckles. This has nothing to do with skin lightening. Naturally, those parts produce excessive melanin. So when you're lightening, even sometimes when you don't even lighten it, it just appears as if you are lightening. So help yourself, help your skin look good and healthy and uniform. Yeah, and go wear that bum shorts. <laughs> so this measurement I'm making, I, I gave you, this measurement I gave you is a measurement for a 250 ml peeling lotion. Yes, 250 ml peeling lotion. This is the measurement I give you if you intend making a larger batch you double the measurements uh, accordingly and if uh, at the end you see the bottle I use one of the bottle the bigger bottle is 200 ml and um, I use the 100 ml to put the remaining lotion and as you can see it was half of that little uh, second bottle so it's a total of 250 ml uh, measurement I, I gave to you uh, I Put on the screen and um, at the end of the day I <laughs> you, you see the yellow oil I brought out was just a carrot turmeric oil that I made myself I just wanted a little bit of color because it was too white for me <laughs> I don't know and I just had a few drops of the carrot turmeric oil as you know carrot uh, oil is a very good uh, better quarantine and uh, it helps with uh, clarifying your skin and turmeric oil helps with uh, it's filled with antioxidant which clears your skin as well now peeling or exfoliating is not just exfoliating and peeling it's also like sort of like 
intense detoxification of your skin as well because it helps your products to penetrate like i said even if it's just palm oil you're rubbing on your skin your skin will pop and the best part is that it's going to be uniform so let me leave you guys here and uh thank you all for watching and please please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and Click on the notification bell so whenever I post a new video, you will be alerted. Thank you guys.